Hi, my name is Eric Kimberling, and I'm the CEO and founder of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent enterprise software consulting firm that helps companies select and implement different types of enterprise and ERP technologies. And one of the things I want to talk about today is what is digital transformation? Digital transformation is a buzzword that's uh, become pretty prominent in the technology space over the last couple of years. And it's a pretty ambiguous term. It's pretty vague, has a lot of different meanings to different people. And it's helpful to kind of unpack that and uncover what exactly digital transformation is. And there's really two terms or two phrases within the, the or two words within the phrase digital transformation, the first being digital. And so when you talk about digital, the implication is that there's a technology piece, which uh, certainly there is. And it's, it's beyond just any one sort of technology. So a lot of times companies will view the digital part of digital transformation as ERP software. It could be CRM, it could be human capital systems, it could be e-commerce, point of sale, a lot of different technologies that it could imply in terms of traditional business technologies that companies are used to deploying. It could also mean, from a technological perspective, some of the new and emerging technologies, some of the additional buzzwords you often hear, such as artificial intelligence, uh, many of you may have heard of Internet of Things, Industry 4.0, um, uh, robotics, automation, a, a lot of different terms could, could apply here. And the bottom line here is there's a plethora of technologies nowadays that can help companies not only automate their processes and be more efficient, but more importantly, really transform their businesses to be more competitive and generate more revenue and be closer to their customers be closer to their employees and provide a better customer experience and better employee experience in addition to doing all the things that traditional ERP and CRM systems might have done in the past. So that's the digital part of digital transformation. But the more important part of digital transformation is the second term, which is transformation. And so despite all the changes in technology, all the things that have transpired over the last few years in terms of cloud solutions, artificial intelligence, and a lot of that stuff that I just talked about. Despite all of that, it all comes down to, to people and processes. So how are we gonna transform the, the people uh, that operate within the business so that they are uh, helping us transform the business? And how are we changing our business processes and our operations to better serve our customers, to be better serve our mission as an organization? to better support our values and culture as an organization. So the people and process side of digital transformation is still the most important part and the most difficult part of digital transformation. So when you think of digital transformation, you have to think of both together, the technology piece and also the people and process piece. And that's really what makes digital transformation. Now, one thing that's unique about digital transformation that wasn't as true in years past is that there's no one solution typically that can help a company through its entire digital transformation. So big software vendors like SAP and Oracle and Microsoft might try to sell you one solution and one vendor to support an entire transformation. But the reality is that it's so fragmented now and there's so many different solutions out there and available that oftentimes you could certainly have a core back office ERP system at your core but oftentimes you'll need additional technologies to really drive the type of transformation that you're looking for. And so it's a matter of finding the right technology that's best for you and helping you transform your organization. It could be multiple systems. It could be, like I said, a core ERP system. You could end up ha having a different system for point of sale and e-commerce and a different system for analytics and artificial intelligence. And it really just depends on what the needs of the organization are. Uh, another example is a lot of times parent companies will use one system and then divisions within that company will use different systems to support the, the different needs that that division might have that are different from the uh, parent organization. So really when we think about digital transformation, we're thinking about technology, but very broadly talking about technology. And we're also talking about the organizational or people side of things, as well as the process or operational side of things. So you put all those things together, all those things in its entirety is really what constitutes digital transformation. So I hope you found this helpful. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions and hope you all have a great day. Thanks very much.